Hello YouTube and welcome to yet another special edition of Locked Out. Um, I'm making this video because it needs to be to be made. Uh, there are a lot of people who depend on the security of these seven pin locks that are in uh, most bank bags and there's a few YouTubers out here who have picked these locks successfully. They have picked this, just single pin picking and, and you know a couple maybe other methods. I don't think there's any security pins in here, but I could be wrong. But as it turns out, seven pin lock, but it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's seven pins or if it's seventy or if it's just a block of metal, as as we'll find out here uh, soon enough. Now the trouble with these security theater situations because that's what this is that's that's what all this you know seven pin on the key and seven pin on the lock itself it's security theater and I'm gonna show you why first I'm gonna show you that yes indeed the lock is secure right it works it's functional it's, it's there it's installed okay but let's say Let's say I'm your I'm your I'm your dishonest employee, or let's say I'm your let's say I'm your underpaid employee, and uh, you know this uh, you're trusting me to take your deposit to the bank, but there's something I, I want to buy, and I can't afford to buy it on on what you're paying me, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rip you off, and I'm thinking to myself, well, how am I supposed to get through? this bag and this lock without anybody knowing. It seems kind of hokey, but really, the way this works, you cannot... The, the point of this is not to make it impenetrable. The point of this is to uh, keep, uh, keep, keep honest people honest, uh, I guess, but the, the trouble is it, it, it's not going to keep a devious mind uh, honest. So let's look at some of the other vulnerabilities in this situation here. We got a uh, we got stitching that goes all the way around on the bottom and on the sides. These these threads here are not uh, cut proof. They're not they're not made out of Teflon or anything else like that. So what we can do is take our regular box cutter and get for five dollars anywhere and we can just go in make ourselves a little hole and because of the way it's done you can't tell this from the outside you can't tell that that's been tampered with and now that we've got our little hole we can take our little Phillips this is a Phillips just a regular Phillips screwdriver a regular Phillips screwdriver and we can go in here and I'm going to tell you right now I have already done this before I started the video I did this part because it's kind of awkward to do this on the on the camera but you stick the screwdriver up through the hole until it's alongside the barrel and you can feel real easy whether there's a screw here guess what kind of screw it is yeah it's a Phillips screw and then there's one on this other side here, underneath this leather insert, you can unscrew those two screws. When you unscrew those screws, well this comes right out. And you think, well that's not much of a big deal unless the zipper can open, right? Or unless you can somehow fit your finger down in there and deal with this, but here's the problem. Here's another really big part of the problem. Uh, let me show you. You see this right here? Well, maybe not. This is a little thin metal cover with two pieces of solder on it. And on the other side of this are the key pins and the springs and all the other, you know, the, the other set of pins in here. You pop this off of here with one of these, just a little tiny screwdriver, just pop that off of there. And all these pins and all these springs just come right out. Now I'm not going to do it 
on here because I don't want to I don't want to actually ruin this lock. I, I like this lock. It's it's good picking practice. But you pop this little plate off and all the springs and everything else will just come right out. And then once that happens, you can stick whatever you want inside here. It doesn't have to be the key, obviously. It can be whatever the hell you want. It can be your tension wrench if you have one of those, or it can be just a regular flat-bladed screwdriver. It doesn't matter. And you turn it, and this will unlock. And then you have access to everything that's in the bag, and then including the screws that fell down into the bag. And then you can put all this back together and lock it up like it was. You can do that and then when you hand the back bag through the slot to the person in the bank they'll use their key to open this lock and they won't know any different. They won't know that the bag's been tampered with because these locks are very heavy to open. So even let's get this out of the way. Even if you have removed your key pins out of here, there's still going to be enough spring tension in this mechanism right here that whoever opens this is going to think they still need the key to open it when they don't. The bank the bank employees will think they still need the key. Your employer will still think you need the key. My employer will still think a key is needed to open this really highly secure lock and the problem is let me just get the screws out of the out of the bag here there's one the other one's caught up okay that's the insert that insert by the way does not slow us down a bit because that insert goes inside of the little leather piece. It doesn't it doesn't actually guard it doesn't guard anything in here at all because when this is put together the screw is on the outside of it. And yes, this is a regular Phillips screw. And here's the other one. Not only is it a Phillips screw, not only is it a Phillips screw, it is a regular like wood screw. This this is not even a machine screw. It's just a really, really crappy, cheap wood screw. And this is just a piece of aluminum. And it, all it does is stiffen the inside of this and make it to where you're not going to easily poke anything directly through here without causing some kind of catastrophic damage that's going to be really obvious. But you see now, I've gotten into this bag, and still, without the key, or anything else, it doesn't matter. Let's say this isn't the key anymore, because remember, I've pulled the pins out of it. So this can be a screwdriver or anything else. And I can just put all this right back together. I can just put all this right back together. And yeah, it'll take me about 20 minutes, but... You know, so what? I can do that on my way to the bank. I can do that while I'm sitting in the drive-thru in Sonic. Uh, and I'm not going to show you any tips or tricks how to do that because I'm not trying to encourage anyone to actually do this. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to encourage the makers of this piece of crap lock. Let's see, that's a MMF in Wheeling, Illinois. You guys need to do better. You really, you need to do better. This is a really great concept. It's clever. But, but this? Phillips screws? Dude? Really? No. Come on. Do better. Please. Your customers are counting on it. Anyway, this is, well, this might be a crooked locked out, but this is locked out. And uh, thank you for tuning in.